Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my long-awaited Cartier unboxing. This is an item that I picked up in Virginia on my way back from my recent travels down to South Florida. If you haven't already watched my recent travel vlog, I will include it here for you guys to catch it. I did include a special meet and greet with a very special YouTuber and fan favorite you guys all know and love. You'll see a nice little surprise there. Because unfortunately in my original video, which I will include clips from here, where I showcase the original unboxing, it turns out that the battery on my mic died and unfortunately the sound quality is not great. So I'm gonna be using today's video as a new and improved version of it, but I will include clips from the original true unboxing because I did wait for that video for me to actually film the true unboxing in real time with you guys. So apologies for any inconvenience there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are a lover of all things beauty, luxury, fashion, and handbags, you've come to the right place. My name is Cece and welcome. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to also hit the notifications button so you never miss a new video with me. And definitely be sure to share it with someone you know who you think might enjoy my channel and in addition definitely follow me on Instagram where I post daily including tidbits from my life and the outfits of the day fashion tips and more without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so, as so I mentioned this is an item that I have had my eye on for over a year it's a highly sought-after item it's often sold out it's very popular especially recently and I had heard some talk about there being a price increase in Cartier over the next month or so. I'm not sure if it is on watches only or if it includes their jewelry pieces as well. I suspect maybe the essays are not allowed to talk about it, but comment down below. Let me know if you know more about this so-called price increase that's coming down the pike. There are a couple more pieces I'm looking to pick up from Cartier if that price increase is truly happening and includes all of their items, including jewelry. There is another item that I know hubby picked up for me because he had the package shipped to our home. I saw the address, I had an inkling, I opened it. I didn't actually open the item itself, but I think I know what it is. Oftentimes I send him gift ideas and links to things that I like. And if I really hit it off with an SA, I will include the SA's contact information. So that's what I did with my SA. And I believe I know what item hubby picked up for me, but I won't be opening or receiving it until Mother's Day. So I'm gonna be patiently waiting for that and happy to say that we got it before the price increase. But like I said, there is one more item I do want to include in my collection before that price increase. So I may or may not be purchasing that before over the next month or so. Let's go ahead and get right into it. As I mentioned, I'm going to include some clips from the original video showcasing the true real life unboxing, but I'm going to re unbox this for you so you can kind of see the detail behind it. So as I mentioned, I picked this up in the store in Virginia in the shopping mall. I will include the name of the shopping mall for you guys down below. The sales associate there was super, super sweet. If you're interested in her information, comment down below and I'd be happy to share it with you if you're in the Virginia area. I think I also mentioned in my original video that the sales tax in New Jersey is 6.25%, whereas in Virginia, between state and local taxes, the total tax on this item came to 6%. So I was able to save 0.25% sales tax. It's not much, it's not really a significant difference, but it comes to like $10 or so. Just to know if you guys tend to plan your shopping trip and travels around states or areas that have a lower tax rate. I've seen a lot of YouTubers pick up items from Hawaii because I believe the tax rate in Hawaii is like 4%. I will also be traveling to Colorado to see my dad soon. And I believe the tax rate in Colorado is two or 2.5%. Although there aren't as many luxury boutiques in those areas. I did a quick search online of Cartier boutique locations and I found that Cartier isn't located nationwide. There's certain states that have Cartier stores, other states don't. They do also have some jewelers that carry Cartier items in their boutiques. So if you're okay with shopping from those jewelers, you can go on the Cartier website and 
put in your location to search for their store locations. And I think it will also give you jewelers that carry their items. I went into the boutique in Virginia. It was one of our stops on the way home. If you caught up on my recent vlog, you know that we took a road trip down to South Florida mainly because I had so many miles on my car and we wanted to bring Charlie. It was our first time traveling with a dog. I didn't want to take on the risk and responsibility that goes with flying with a pet. I did decide and opt for driving. On one hand, it's nice to say you did that one road trip with your family while your kids were still yours before they go off and become independent adults. But I would probably not do it again. It's many hours spent in a car, it's crammed, it's uncomfortable. We had to pack the car to the very max and it just made it uncomfortable. I stopped in the Virginia boutique. I was walking in looking like a hot mess. I was not dressed up at all. I didn't have any makeup on and the sales associates were super sweet and nice. They treated me so courteously and so kind. I walked in, I looked for a sales associate that was available and the sales associate that helped me actually asked if I needed help with anything. And she was again, super kind. I asked her for the item, which she had available. I had to try it on in different sizes. She helped me come to a decision. And on the second piece that I was wanting, she did have it not available in my size, but she was willing to order it for me although I decided to just wait I was thinking maybe I'll purchase that item from my SA locally but needless to say she gift wrapped the entire item for me you can request gift wrapping even if you're purchasing the item for yourself I highly recommend it I think the packaging itself is part of the entire experience why not gift wrap something for yourself even if you're purchasing it for you doesn't matter. I always get things gift wrapped, especially if it's included and it's no extra charge. Why not? So I had her gift wrap it more importantly, because I wanted to unbox it with you guys and give you guys the full experience of the full gift wrapping and how beautiful it is, which I'll include clips throughout this video, but it came in this gorgeous little bag. They added an extra pouch, like a pillow pouch and sort of like a jewelry dust bag to store the item and it comes in all red when you open it it's got that beige inside there it's like a velvet material and it's got the Cartier name there which is so pretty and you can put your item on this little pillow to store it in your jewelry box or wherever if you're traveling and it's easier to take this pouch instead of a full box which is a good idea this will sort of protect the jewelry piece and it comes with two little buttons there which you can button on each side there. And again, it helps to keep the piece secure. I think this is really nice for travel if you wanna throw it in your carry-on or your purse, unless you're just wearing the item, which I tend to do. They included uh, two little chocolates for me, which I don't know if anyone knows where they get these chocolates from, but they are so good. Super cute receipt booklet, which says Cartier there. She was also kind enough to include a little perfume, a little tester, which smells absolutely delicious. It's so good. I may actually opt for purchasing this perfume. I'll try and include a link for you guys down below, but it's called the Bicer Volet Cartier Perfume, and it comes in this beautiful little box. And I'll unbox it for you guys so you can see it. It is a little spray bottle, which I love. I know some travel sprays or travel perfumes don't come in a spray option. They tend to come in the rollerball option. My Mojave Ghost from Barreto is a roll-on, and I'm really not a fan. I just, I like the spray. So this is a spray option, as you can see right there. I'm gonna just spray it, because it's so good. Woo. And I have to say this lasts, it really lasts. It gives me like a hint of a soap smell. It kind of reminds me at first of like Johnson & Johnson's baby shampoo. I don't know why I get that. It kind of reminds me of the yellow Johnson & Johnson shampoo. Obviously more elevated and sophisticated and just delicious. It's a clean floral type scent. Very pretty. It also came with this certificate. So you get the certificate of purchase with the serial number and it comes in this beautiful card, it includes the serial number and the stamp there. And it's a nice sort of hard material. 
So it protects the actual information there for you, which is really nice. So if you decide to resell the item, it shows and proves its authenticity, similar to like an authentication card from Chanel. And now the box. So this is the actual Cartier box that it comes in. Let's open it like so. The front part of the box opens like that, not the rest. The other ones sort of stand as is. Ooh. You can open it like that and you can slide the box forward or just pull it out, which I tend to do. And again, I reboxed this item so that I could unbox it for you guys. I want you guys to have the full experience. So you've got that lovely gold detail there that Cartier is known for. It goes all around the box on the top and bottom and sides. And then you've got this cute little button and you just push the button and voila. I got the Just and Clo small size bracelet. This currently retails for $3,600 US dollars at the time of purchase, which was April 2024. There's talk of there being a price increase. I don't know if it includes the bracelets or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. You've got the Cartier name there. It's got this beautiful velvet material on the inside and that gorgeous black and then, you know, just the box. It comes with another little pillow, which is nice for storing. And then you just slide it off. And my essay taught me how to put it on. You always wanna go by the, the nail head, right? Cause it's really a nail that goes around um, and just slide it on like so. I'm still learning how to put it on. So bear with me guys. And I got, I believe the size that I got is a 17 and a half. So the, bracelet size measures the girth when you talk about small medium large and extra large so i got the smallest size because i want a more delicate look i didn't like the way the second two size up from this i think it's the medium i didn't like the way the medium looked on me i just felt like it was overpowering plus if i want to stack this having a thinner option makes it easier to do that. I actually like the way it looks on its own. I think it's very delicate, very pretty. It's very simple, so you can wear this as part of your everyday. And unlike my love bracelet, what I like about this is that it's a lot more comfortable to wear. My love bracelet, my husband gifted to me the morning of our wedding, which is really special and I still have it, but I was a lot skinnier then. And I know that they say, including my essay said this, that this part of your wrist doesn't really expand if you gain or lose weight. I don't think that's true. My love bracelet actually doesn't sit here. It sits more here and it's super tight and uncomfortable. And especially when I sleep or I'm working out or I'm just moving around during the day, if I like go like this, it kind of like dents my arm. Uh, and I don't like it. So I haven't been wearing my love bracelet for that reason. That Cartier can actually melt down the gold and make it a larger size for you at an additional cost. I don't wanna do that. I wanna keep it in its original form. And honestly, I've heard it's quite costly to do that. So if I'm gonna go that route, I might as well just buy a new one, is my own opinion. But I'm gonna keep that bracelet forever and maybe hand it down to um, you know, my granddaughter or someone in my family, maybe my niece. But in the meantime, I do have this bracelet and I love it so far. So super easy to wear, very comfortable. You remove it the same way. So you kind of go by the head of the nail and just bend it back. And see how it like bends? I love that. So it's very bendable. You don't have to worry about a screw, which I've had to do with the love bracelet. I can't get it on and off myself. I always have to ask my husband to help me. It becomes a pain. It's a little bit of a hassle. I still love the bracelet, don't get me wrong. I love the love bracelet, but this is much easier. This is more my speed. So super easy, super comfortable. But I've actually been looking at the ring. I want the Just and Clo ring. And I tried it on in the store when I purchased the bracelet. I tried it on for my pointer finger, which I think it looks really cool on. So I think I'm gonna get it for my pointer finger or my middle finger. I have to go back in and just try it on again before I finalize the decision. But my essay didn't have the size I needed for my pointer but she did offer to have it ordered for me, but I decided to wait. So maybe this month, who knows? I'm just gonna box it all back up. I like to keep everything sort of together. 
the way that it all comes so I don't lose anything. Everything stays intact together. I'm actually debating keeping the little bag because I think it's so cute. For now, I've just been keeping everything together in one place so I don't lose anything. Now that I've unboxed the item and shared it with you, I can officially start wearing it. Let me know what you guys think. If you are a fan of the Justin Clo, either the bracelet or the ring, and what size you would opt for. If you own one, what size do you have and why? If you don't own one, which size would you consider? There was a girl in the store when I was trying this one on that was trying on the XL, and it literally looked like handcuffs on her. It's like super thick. Uh, so that's what I mean. The sizes, the small, medium, large, that refers to the girth or width of the bracelet. The actual size of your wrist, which I mentioned I got this in a 17 and a half, talks about, you know, how wide it is on your wrist. So they do come in different sizes depending on your wrist size. So if you have a smaller wrist, they can accommodate that. If you have a bigger wrist, they can accommodate that, that as well. I know some males like to wear this bracelet as well. So if, if you have a little bit of a thicker wrist, that's okay. Cartier has a size for you. So I am very pleased with this purchase, very happy. If there is a price increase, I will be thrilled to know that I got it before the price increase. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the notifications down below so you never miss a video with me. And follow me on Instagram as well for more. Share it with someone who you think might enjoy. And until next time, bye guys.